Dominic's down here, and it took five episodes for us to get our first real recording error. Apparently, after recording this whole episode, my commentary wasn't saved because that drive was out of space. So I'm going to have to postcom this episode, but you can trust this poker face, even though you can't see it, that I won't spoil anything. So with that out of the way, let's start this episode like I would have live, by looking at the forbidden land, the transfer market. And you're probably wondering why I'm looking at the Forbidden Land, and that is for two reasons. Number one, I looked up how much Seamus Coleman was actually worth. I estimated that he would be worth like 20,000, because, you know, he's Irish, it's in an unusual position, and I got him in my first pack. Turns out, no, it's on his second inform, and it is worth, like, oh, seven times that. Look. Holy hell. The second reason. I'm looking at the transfer market is because I'm considering adding another exception to the transfer market rule. I have an exception in terms of what I'm, what I'm allowed to sell, which are duplicates, but I'm considering an exception in terms of what I'm allowed to buy. Here it is. Players that have left the club, that have been in the club, but they've left. For example, if I accidentally quick sell someone by mistake, I want to allow myself to buy them back. Or, and here's the primary reason, lone players. Glick has only played a couple of games, but he's already a legend at the club. But he's a lone player. A couple more games and he's off. Forever, probably. I want to have a chance to, you know, get him back. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. If you've watched more than four episodes, then obviously you're invested in this series. So I care about your opinion. And also, since last episode, I went ahead and completed two more of these manager tasks. So we're gonna go ahead and claim these rewards real quick. So okay, a mix of four items, including a player rated 75 to 80 on loan. That sounds pretty good. Let's see what we get. And we get Semedo. And look at that, if it isn't Suarez from Barcelona. No, not that one, the other one. <laughs> yeah, we got ourselves 80 rated, non-rare Suarez, left mid from Barcelona. So let's send all these items to club. And then we're gonna check uh, what this other lone player is. Okay, so we get to choose between these four players. So we can have an established, high rated player for a few games, or we can have a relatively unknown player of less rating for more games. And so let's just go ahead and acquire Matuidi. He's a French player. He'll do well in the French squad and then he's out before we know it. So we wouldn't grow too attached to him in case you guys are completely opposed to the exception. Let's try and build a squad to get at least a few of these players involved. Okay, so this was the squad that I came up with and uh, it's a bit of a mis mishmash, but hey, that's the Exeon FC standard. Uh, Matuidi is the only one of these new players that is actually in the lineup because once again he's doing really well here uh, with the chemistry with all this other French players a strong link right there in the middle even though this is a Spanish team the Spanish player from the Spanish league gave this team worse chemistry so he is in the subs <laughs> and so is Semedo as you can see let's just get into this match and see what happens and of course we face off against an 80 rated 100 chemistry German team because why not and it's obvious that this guy he knows the game like from the very get-go he is pounding me with shots getting clear-cut chances that honestly he should be putting away and going like this it did not take long for this to happen <laughs> of course that's a penalty because why wouldn't it be no cards or nothing, just a penalty. And uh, he is going to put it away. And we're 1-0 down. Oh boy, we have our work cut out for us now. And here is Sigthorsen with his chance. Look at this. He doesn't even get a shot off, but don't worry. It's going to bounce off to Ferret, and then it's going to bounce off to Otre. And I'm just not getting a shot off here. It's so frustrating. And some more chances from him later. I get my chance here with Autre, he's gonna shoot it, and it's a save from his keeper. And it goes straight back to him, and he's just walking through my defense here. There's nothing I can do. Thiago, Thiago just pounds it right into the net. Unstoppable. Yeah, you can tell I'm getting a bit frustrated. Abdenor with a rough challenge, and he is actually gonna get himself booked. You're not gonna see it until you look at the top corner here. There it is. Get himself booked 
But don't worry about it. My wall stops this free kick, as you can tell. But look at that. Why is nobody clearing it? Why are they just looking at it? So half time and uh, stats are not in our favor. <laughs> Let's just get back into it. And second half was not much better. He's still just able to run through my defense. This is really what happens when you have a low rated defense. And when I try to get through, I just don't have the strength. Sig Thorson falls over and cries. So I have to take him off for macaroni. And uh, Suarez actually gets to come on for his debut now. Let's hope he can make the difference. Maybe he has what it takes. Maybe he is an underrated Suarez. Speaking of, here we are in the charge. And that's all that that's all I get out of it. He's coming through here. Clear chance on goal. But thank God my keeper blocks it. And here we are again. This is, is this really has to be it. If, our, if we're going to get a consolation goal, this has to work. And he clears it. And that's the game. It's over. We lost 2-0. And it's the first full match in a long, long time. Probably ever. I don't know. That we haven't scored a single goal. His defender, man of the match, obviously, because he wrestled my men off the ball every time. And uh, Pejeri and Albiol with a 7.6 rating. Uh, Matuidi, actually, with the only shot on target. I guess that's something. And uh, Buffon with four saves. Four saves, and he concedes two goals. That's not a good ratio. Buffon still yet to impress. And uh, because of this match, we actually afford a premium gold pack. So we're actually going to go ahead and give ourselves that, because well, hell, lo hell knows we need it. Here we go, and we get Greek player... Fetfatsidis? Fetfatsidis. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try to sound accurate. Those Argentinian players are perfect. Because remember, I have a bunch of Ar Argentinian players in my uh, Germany squad. And that badge too. I'm actually going to change this badge. I don't think it looks much better. Same colors. But I appreciate the change. And uh, we're going to make this our active kit as well. I'm not sure which one though. Yeah, it's got to be the away kit. Definitely away kit. It's a nice bright blue. And uh, a ball. Because, yeah, why not? Let's make that our active ball. So let's see what kind of squad I can build out of this. Okay, so this is the squad that I came up with. As you can see, I have a lot of Argentinian players, and it's a perfect link from the left back to the right wing. And we're mixing it with German players, as you can tell, in the midfield and in the defense. And we got Leno in goal, so maybe he can protect us this game. The only really, the only real issue here is Bazur here, who has no connection to anybody. And I've checked. There is no player I can put there to get some chemistry with any uh, one of these players. Bazur, who scored in the debut game, maybe he does deserve a second chance, even though he plays on four. So we're going to give this squad a go. Semedo on the bench, maybe he can come on and save us if something goes bad. Let's see what happens. And even though we're playing against a Chelsea fan over here, I'm the one that plays in blue. Yes, I actually get to use my away kit. Just instantly after getting it in a pack, I get to use an away kit. Lovely. So I'm blue in this game, and uh, mm, that's a difficult match trap, but it's not as good as the German team. Let's hope we can deal with this. And early on in the game, Welbeck has a chance, but Balogun is there to pick it up, but he shoots it right at Welbeck, who flunks his other chance, though. On the other end of the pitch, Balogun gets involved again with a shot that goes out, but De Santo puts it into the net. Gets the rebound, knocks it in, and we finally score our first goal this episode. Oh man, we need it. We really need it for our confidence. And to be honest, this has been a game where we start off really well. De Santo is through again. Can he double it? Can he score another goal? He fools the defender completely, but shoots it straight at check. And later, De Santo involved again as he passes the ball to Boo, who gets a shot off. But Boo you! It goes straight off the goal. And here we are pushing forward again. The pass across that really should have connected. So it would have been 2-0 up, but we're not. And I really had a lot of chances here. You can tell that I, I should be more than one goal up. And then Welbeck getting through just before halftime. Can he get something out of this? No. Just off the target. And if we look at these halftime stats, that is actually his only shot, period. And I have five shots on target. I should be winning this game, rightfully so. And into the second half, straight off the bat, he is pulling the attacking play, passing the ball to Welbeck here, he's getting through, he's fooling my defenders, and of course it goes in. Of course it goes in. It's equalized. 
And here he is back again with another chance. Wilson, he's just running. My defenders are just giving him all the space that he needs. Welbeck shoots, it's blocked, but the second shot goes in. And now he has the lead. Two, two quickies from Welbeck, and he is in the lead. Can I get one back? Here comes Boo. Can he redeem himself? He gets through, he shoots, it goes between the legs of Czech. Can't stop it, goes in. It's equalized, 2-2. Two, two. Only a couple of minutes left. Can we hold this or even win this game? I certainly hope so. Here he is though, here's Wilson, he's on the ball, he is going to shoot, my defense is just giving him the chance, and there it is. We're down again. 2-3. So we have to get one back. Time is running out, he's running through, DeSanto with another shot, but it is saved and he can't get to the ball in time. It goes out. And here he is again, Welbeck, can he complete his hat-trick? He's through, he, no, he passes it over to Wilson, Wilson with a chance. It is blocked by Leno. And here is probably the last chance of the game. Here's Boo. He's through. Can he shoot? No, he can't. And the ball goes out. Can we squeeze a goal out of this corner? Leno. The ball heads to Leno. Can Leno get to it? Maybe it did. Was that him? But regardless, Czech picks up the ball, throws it away, and so do I. I throw away this game. <laughs> oh, man. But DeSanto, the first goal scorer, gets man of the match. Yes, I did sub him off in this game. And Leno with one save. That is not good. He saves one in four shots. Oh boy. Worse than before. <laughs> Let's just move on from this, okay? I just want to get right into the next game. If we're going to pick up more points, I've decided that this should be the squad to do it. Our inform, Buffon, our English partnership with Chimanga and Tomlinson. And we get to play in our blue kits again as hopefully this glorious team can pick up some of these points that we do need. And our opponent is also very English. I'll take a draw at this point. I don't want to go through a whole episode without getting a single point. And early on, Fox passes the ball here to Tomlinson. Can Tomlinson do something? Score an early goal? Well, early. It's the 18th minute, actually, because this is quite an uneventful first half. And look at that. That's Fox falling over, getting himself injured. That's like his second injury. Anyways, he's going to cross it in, and Buffon picks it up. This really is an uneventful first half. In fact, we're already nearing the end of it here as he's running through with the biggest chance of the half. He's going to shoot and it goes wide. And that's it for the first half, honestly. Look at these halftime stats. Zero shots on target for either side and that was like his only shot. Wow. Anyways, here is Tomlinson. Passes it through to Chimanga. Chimanga can score here, but great move from McCarthy to run out. I was too dumb to chip him or even dare try and that's another injury from Fox <laughs> wow and here's Disney he's running through he's gonna pass it to Chimanga but McCarthy once again picks up the ball and uh, you'd think Fox has an injury but he doesn't he just falls over and cries that's all he does he doesn't actually get any injuries he keeps moving forward so I'm not actually going to substitute him off even though that's what I was doing was going to do here so he still plays on the pitch, and great partnership from Tomlinson and the Chimpanga. Pass it across, open goal. McCarthy still gets to it. This is insane. We should have a goal. And his player picks up a yellow. Maybe this can change something. Fox still on the pitch, still feeling well. Jim passes to Chimanga. Chimanga passes it across to Watkins, but he can't finish it. McCarthy with a glorious game here. Macaroni passes it through. Doesn't quite reach it. San Severino misses it. Ah! Oh. And final minutes of the game. Is he gonna get a stupid goal here? Well, there's a corner left. Rangel blocks it off though. So, here it comes again. Is that? Rangel runs to it. Can he get it away? He's just gonna leave it. And that's it. That's the, that's the entire game. It's nil-nil. It's a draw. So yes, we do get a point, but... It's a disappointing point. We should have won this game. And Rangel, the snake, the man of the match for the other team that one time, is now man of the match for us. It's something. So many clear-cut chances that we couldn't finish. But regardless, that is seven points, and it means that we're just one win away from promotion. So can we get three points from three games? Hopefully. Now this has been so far a really bad episode. So to compensate and try to make it at least a little exciting, I'm actually going to dive into the squad building challenges. At least these, let's get it started ones. As you can see, the first exchange is really easy. All you gotta do is pick 
any bronze player, just one. But I'm going to set a rule for myself, at least now, which is that I can't give away or sacrifice a player that has played a game. So any player we sacrifice will be a player that we've never used. The player I settled on is actually my lowest rated player, which is Dryden from Scotland. He is 53 rated. Trust me, I'm not gonna use him. So let's get rid of this guy and see what we can get in exchange. And as a reward, we get a bronze gift pack. That's nice. Let's open it and see if we, uh, if we made a mistake here. It really hurt to sacrifice any player from Exion FC. But in return, we get Ampoma from Ghana, I think. 61 rated right away. We know that this is a good trade. <laughs> yeah, okay, this was definitely worth it. Let's go ahead and do the second one right away. Okay, so this time we're gonna exchange three players with at least 12 chemistry together. All right, not sacrificing any player that has at least one cap. And uh, three, these three guys don't. I do not feel too bad saying goodbye to these fellas because let's be honest, I'm not gonna use them unless I build a Japanese squad, which is something I do wanna do, but I don't think I'm gonna. Okay, so we get another bronze pack. All right, bronze for bronze, I suppose that is fair. Let's go open it. All right, and we get a 63 rated player, Hafez from Egypt. All right, and it's a Colombian striker. We do have a lot of Colombian players. Oh, and look at that, it's Jay Sadra, a Swedish team. I should let you guys know that I am from Sweden, so I am, yes, I'm gonna have a bias towards Swedish cards. Swedish items and Swedish players. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this kit right now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put it away because I do need a white home kit. Oh, but that badge though. Oh, we gotta use this badge. Yeah, let's make this our home kit. Let's do a complete switch. Well, the trade was worth it, that's for sure. So going back, the third and final step, we gotta exchange four players with at least three different nationalities. All right. And these are the players that I settled for, two South Koreans, Polish center back and Ampoma. Yeah, the guy we got in the first bronze pack. We're not going to use them. We're not going to use any of these four players, which is why I don't feel too bad in exchanging them. I do think that these rewards are going to be worth it. So, sorry, but goodbye, fellas. Okay, premium bronze players pack. And we have now completed the Let's Get Started series of squad building challenges. And we get two. Play a two players pack. That's a trade worth it right there. So let's open this pack. Okay, we do get a silver. Oh, it's a Swedish player! I just said that I w I'm Swedish, so I will have a bias towards Swedish items and players. So yeah, I'm probably gonna force this guy into some squad. And oh my god, look at this. Look at how many English players we're getting here. That's awesome! We've just widened the depth of our English squad, that's for sure. Before we do build our new squads, we still have this pack, two player packs, one of them rare. Let's open this up and see what it is. Are they gold? We do have one gold. It's a right back from the Premier League. Okay. Well, the reason I'm not too ecstatic about that is because we do- Oh! Here's macaroni! We got macaroni again! Is it- Oh, well, this is a duplicate. This means that we can actually sell them on the transfer market. You know, get some extra coins. Awesome! The reason I'm not too ecstatic about that uh, Premier League right back is because we already do have a Premier League right back. Our inform. So I guess I'm gonna have to play him as a center back if I want to use that guy. Alright, so if you look here, this th it didn't really change much for now anyway. The uh, left back is involved, the Welsh one. But other than that, it's on the bench for most of these guys. If we look at our Germany squad, I actually changed it up as well. Uh, but once again, not by much. Only a few players uh, getting involved here, Mo most of them on the bench. Oh well, it's still exciting though, I still feel really excited about these uh, squad builder challenges, so I will probably look into them into the future, doing more. But in the end, that's been this episode, sorry again for the uh, audio recording screw up, and I will see you in the next one, where we will know if we make it into Division 8 or not. See you then.